were able to finally come see you play in college. And, you know, did you give any acknowledgement to Big Dave up there, you know, when you took the field? I mean, yeah, no, definitely. It was super cool to be able to have my parents here. I know my mom, my brother, my dad were here. Also, my two uncles, they got to come. Uh, my Uncle Ollie and my Uncle Mark. So it was super cool to be able to have them here. They told me they're going to be at this my first game. So I'll be able to see them in the stands. I got to talk to them a little bit during pregame and be able to watch score my first touchdown. I throw a heart to my mom up there. So it was super cool to be able to see them in the stands. Uh, just at my first, score my first touchdown. It was really cool. Special moment. I imagine, you know, every guy grows, grows up dreaming about that first college score. I'm sure you thought maybe it would be a touchdown pass. <laughs> but, you know, you get it on the ground and, and you know, then actually get two of them. Um, you know, what's it like to show people that you can make plays with your feet? Uh, I mean, it's super cool. I mean, I always like – I mean, I, I got to run a little bit in high school, but usually they didn't really want me to run until playoff time. So, be able to run a, a touchdown in. So, that's always super cool. I mean, I've done a lot of touchdown passes in my, in my career. So, but always, always like running them in for some reason. But, it was super cool. Just, I mean, offensive line, you make great blocks, and then you, know, you make it easy for me just to be able to get the ends of the side. Hats off to them. As I understand it, it was scripted for you to go out and take that, that first drive of yours. Like, that was going to be your drive from the beginning. What did it mean to you to, to put the ball in the end zone right there? Uh, it was super cool. I mean, they told me during the week that I was going to be able to get the fourth drive, no matter what, if we're down, uh, tie game, whatever the was going on. So I knew I, I just, really just wanted to be mentally prepared to be able to just go out there and do my job and uh, be able to just do my part and my one about to the office. DJ, Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How did it feel for you really just to go out uh, in the second half and, and get to control drives and kind of the flow of the game instead of coming in and going out or just getting a few series. How was that first extended play for you? It was pretty cool. It was super cool. I mean, uh, it was, I like to go out there and just be able to play. I mean, just get like, a lot of bullets, and run drives, and, like just kind of like be in, be in the game and just get real reps. I mean, it was super cool. I mean, just be able to go against another team, just be able to play, play them offense and just be able to just take live bullets and just be able to just get – I mean, just get playing time. I mean, I feel like just get live, just live reps. I feel like just get out there and just play. I mean, it's just so really cool. We'll take one or two more for DJ. Hey, DJ, it's David again. Is there a, a, a receiver that you're starting to maybe develop a little bit of a rapport with? You know, you guys on the second team might throw together a little bit more. You know, is there one or, or two guys that you're starting to feel really comfortable with? I mean, there's always I'm, I'm comfortable a lot of all the receivers, but I feel like I feel like me and EJ we have pretty good connection together. I mean, we came in together and stuff like that. But I mean, EJ and Joe, I know it's probably two. Uh, I mean, there's two receivers that came my class. But I feel like we have pretty good connection together. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad you said EJ because that was really one of the more impressive plays. You know, there where it looked like you were going to tuck it and run, and then before you get to the line of scrimmage, you you kind of see him flash open and you, and you dumped it to him. Kind of walk us through that that play there. Uh, I think uh, uh, during the play, I think it was I forgot. We had a, it was like a dagger concept. We had we had seen we had a, we had a hitch. It was like a bunch formation out there on the hash. We had a single by an inside receiver. We had a hitch and we had like a 14 yard dig by EJ. And I think it was middle. Of Mike, I think it was Mike Fire. He came down. I think I made a miss and I was rolling out. I was rolling out to kind of like make a play. And I seen the uh, linebacker. He was he was like in the window. I seen him bite a little bit, and I just seen him like come towards me. I just wait for EJ to get to the second ring. I kind of just dump it off to him. I mean, EJ is a great receiver. I mean, I've seen him play in high school. I mean, out here he makes some special plays here in practice. So just be able, just be able to have receiving weapons on each side, and be able to throw to him, just makes a lot of job really easy. All right, if we got nothing else, thank you very much, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Hey, man, appreciate it. Appreciate you guys.